Hi and welcome to the digital job site where the boards are straight, the weather's great, and there really is a board stretcher. And this session is about um, adding crown molding to your SketchUp model. And uh, to work on this process, uh, it's pretty natural that um, you'd create a framework that um, contains all the various features that um, of a room or an area that you'd be um, adding the crown molding to. And in this case, I've created a, uh, a floor plan here um, that would show some uh, a variety of features that you're like, you'd likely to be encounter, uh, encountering on a, on a crown molding installation. Not necessarily all these features in one installation, but uh, certainly these are the types of features that would be encountered on such a project. So I've created this layout here, and uh, to get started, I want to set the model uh, information here. Uh, that's going to be architectural measurements, which are feet and inches. That's what we want, so that's good. Um, and I've created this rectangle. And as you can see, I've created uh, inside corners, outside corners, uh, an off-angle 45-degree thing over here, and even a round bump out just to show how... Uh, slick that SketchUp works to uh, put crown molding around any of these features. And one thing I want to do here, because uh, arcs are created with uh, facets in SketchUp, and you can see on this arch here, I've grouped this geometry, I'm going to double click to get into it. This particular arc, um, you can see how it's kind of choppy with line. So I just drew it in there as a standard um, arc with this arc tool to half uh, half of a radius. I'm going to select that, right click it, and then choose Entity Info and you can see in here it says that that curve is made up of 12 sections and I want this to be nice smooth crown molding so I'm just going to bump that up to 50 which will make that curve smoother. Uh, it makes the crown molding or the, the feature look nicer but uh, in the big picture it adds uh, a significant amount of geometry so it's something I just do when I wanted to uh, give it a refined look. Otherwise, the model just create, um, contains a bunch of excess geometry. But in this case, it will make it look smooth. So here's our floor outline. And um, that's just a starting place. So I'm going to grab the, the tool here. And uh, let's give this a 9-foot ceiling. I just enter that on the keyboard. Come up with a 9-foot ceiling. And... Uh, another feature I wanted to show on this model is um, uh, the possibility of having something like an entertainment center if you're going to have that uh, on a building or on a, on a room that you're going to draw to. Um, so we'll just throw, throw a little geometry in here. I'm going to put some guidelines. There's five feet. Let's go 32 inches a couple of times here. And that will give us, uh, you'll see what this, what I'm doing with this business here in a second. I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool. It's one more guideline. Let's make this uh, bookcase come out 18 inches. I'll grab the rectangle tool. Draw a couple of rectangles here. This will make sense shortly here. Okay, get rid of these guidelines. Grab the eraser tool and just wipe these out of here. And then I'm going to... Select what's basically the ceiling of this room. I got that out of there. I triple click there to select every surface in here, and I'm going to reverse the faces just because I like to see the inside of the room being white. Um, and then I'm going to pull these rectangles down to the floor. Just drag those down, add a line here, and then we'll pull this up. Let's see, 36 inches. Okay, so now you can imagine this uh, This would be maybe an entertainment center or something like that, bookcases in a room, and we want the crown molding to go around this, follow this perimeter. So that gives you an idea what uh, it would look like, it would be like looking down inside this room if it didn't have to have a ceiling. Um, and now to um, work on the setup for adding this crown molding, I just... Retraced one edge, one edge that puts the ceiling back in here, um, and so um, now 
to set up for using the follow me tool I'm going to select this entire plane which is the ceiling of the room hold shift and click the main part of the ceiling which gives me uh, the complete perimeter of this room with all the jigs and jogs and circles um, as a selection. Now I'll grab the offset tool and I'm going to bring this in oh let's just say three inches to keep it simple and that's that's the number um, from the wall out to the the face edge of a crown molding. You'll see how that applies here in a minute. So um, so we've got that offset, and this this line is now exactly three inches around the perimeter of this room, which will represent the face of the crown molding. You'll see how that applies um, when uh, when we use the follow me tool. Another thing that uh, I end up drawing a lot in um, in SketchUp is a crown molding that just has a return to a wall um, where a crown molding might end in the middle of the wall or um, end for um, a change in the ceiling elevation or something. And so, um, so I'm just going to put uh, a spot here in the wall that would be, um, I don't know what what would go here in a particular case, but what this does is show you how to draw um, a crown molding where it where it returns and dies into the wall. It's something that gets encountered fairly frequently on crown molding jobs that I do anyways. Um, so now I'm going to erase this line. So now we have an offset line uh, maintained that goes around the building and in these two spots the offset line returns to the wall. And so um, what that gives us is um, the path that we're going to use for follow me and um, that finishes the setup portion uh, of this tutorial. We'll come back to this model and uh, add the crown molding profile and, and do the digital installation in a bit.